Chairman, can you start us with an opening statement, please? Um, well, first of all, we're uh, you know excited about being 2-0 in the Big East. Um, I thought our guys came to came to play tonight. Obviously, that second quarter was uh, you know I, th I thought we had some uh, lucky bounces, but I think sometimes you create your own luck. And I, I really thought the guys came to play tonight early. Uh, uh, as crazy as it sounds, I was really more proud of the defense tonight than the offense. Second half. You know, we had a little bit of lull. Credit to uh, Villanova for come out and, and keep on, keep on fighting, and uh, and they did. And you know, chances are we're going to see these guys again. So uh, proud of the guys. Proud of uh, happy to be two and zero, uh, but know that we can we can be even better. Questions for the student athletes first, please. Uh, Wes, uh, heck of a game out there. Um, you had one goal. It looked like you had a uh, Savardian spinorama out there. What was going through your mind there? Uh, yeah, I saw the goalie out of the net, so I was just trying to trying to get get the ball on my stick as fast as I can and catch him out of the net there. <laughs> you had a, a run of four straight. I mean, that's a natural hat you plus some. Yeah, well, I think the first the first couple I had, it was you know, it was my teammates just making plays there. I was I was wide open on the crease because they were sliding to them and. Uh, Credit, credit to my teammates there for finding me on the crease on the first probably four or five goals I had were, were tap-ins. Wes, we uh, just had Jeremy in the studio the other day just interviewing <laughs> him. Are you going to give him a little ribbing when next time comes around? <laughs> yeah, well, how would they do tonight? I haven't seen you yet, no, but I, I wonder if he's going to see the box score. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if I check my phone, he'll be texting me. So, he does. <laughs> what, Wes, you're, you're, I think, three away from breaking Mark Matthews' all-time school record. You're going to make sure he knows that you're on, hot on his heels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if he knows he has the record. <laughs> no, it's, it's been great since I've come to this team. I, I don't think people are, have ever been worried about individual statistics, especially the way we play now. We've got so many guys. You know, We're not going to have a... Not going to have players that that put up the hundred point seasons, but we're going to have, you know, seven eight guys that are that are up there contributing with a lot of points, and then, you know, even even another seven or eight that are getting twenty thirty points, which is which is even better. Ryan, you had a heck of a game, and w one thing that I w w was really curious about is, you're out there for long periods of time so when you're nineteen <coughs> eighty. How do you manage to stay stay so focused when you're not getting being tested very much? Uh, if you watch during timeouts, I run from end line to the, to the <laughs> huddle so I can stay warm and just kind of stay focused and kind of just clearing your mind and not letting anything else affect you and just staying up and ready to save the ball. They uh, didn't seem to have too, too many outside shots that really got in cave, but you did a heck of a job with the point blank ones. Thank you. I mean, the defense helped me out so much. I mean, if you look at the stats, they only had eight shots on goal when I was in there. So I mean, <coughs> credit to all credit to my defense. Like if you get a team that's only has eight shots on goal in a game, that's all the defense. So I have to credit to them. We've really buckled down on defense the past couple of games. We've made it our mission to change the outcome and really push forward as a team. Good job out there. Any other questions for the student athletes, guys? Okay, you guys want to head back to the locker? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right. And then coach, if you don't mind signing. Are these here? Yeah, please. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Wes, you're going to need a place in my hands to go in my Canada column, too. All right, on. <laughs> Again. Okay in there. Coach, if you don't mind sliding over one seat. What's that? If you don't mind sliding over one seat. Oh, yeah. Sure. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Questions for Coach Junior? Coach, when you have a big lead like that, is it almost a little bit more of a coaching job to keep the kids' heads in it the second, in the yeah. second half? No, it was uh, – we were um, – the thing we worried about at halftime happened. You know, we came out, a couple of things happened. Number one, Villanova came out um, like it was 0-0. And a credit to, to Coach Grotto and his kids. They came out on fire, they were after us, and they, they came out with a, uh, you know, a spirit, and they played a different style of defense. They really started chasing us all over the place, which was an adjustment from the zone and the slow, the, the impact, uh, the, the way they played in the first half. Uh, you know, and that, that switching in the goalie, that, that can change things a little bit. Uh, but um, I thought our guys in the second half forgot that we had some, uh, as I said earlier, some really lucky bounces in that first half uh, that, that really came our way. Not that we didn't play well, we did, but uh, 
and uh, I, you know, credit to Villanova. I was surprised. I looked up and they had scored one or two in the second half, and we had scored one, and, and it was like two or three minutes left in the third quarter. It just went so quickly. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, we were worried about that. It, with this team, we have to go through so many different experiences. We've been through the losing. We've been through the winning without playing well. And the last two games, uh, you know, I think uh, other than the second half today, the offense and defense was really clicking. But uh, like Ryan said, I, I was really, uh, um, really proud of my, uh, you know, defensive coordinator this week, uh, John Orson. He, this offense that Villanova runs is very difficult to play against. There's a lot of movement, a lot of different parts, a lot of good players. And so I thought to get, he put together a really good game plan. And, uh, and so, again, you score 15, you got to be happy in eight and a quarter. You got to be thrilled. But to hold a good team like that before, we feel really good about that. Coach, you seem that they uh, were, uh, did a better job of forcing a three on three in the face offs in the second half. Um, was there anything in particular you noticed with, with that, or were you able to? Uh, yes, but, um, you know, I, I, I've learned a long time ago that yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are certain. There's a certain group of people you can't question on the field, and, and so, um, you know, it's uh, Trevor. Trevor is doing great, and he's a tough guy to deal with. I, again, I give them the same credit, though. They they were even when he won the draw in the second half, they were you know they were getting after him. He's going to have to learn how to handle that. That's what teams are going to do. I thought you saw some signs of brilliance from him. A couple of times he threw it backwards, uh, and uh, you know he made it. Got a couple of breaks tonight, but. Um, you know, he's a, we all keep forgetting he's so dominant that we forget that he's a freshman. He's 18 years old. He's being traced around by 22-year-olds. Sometimes it can be a little intimidating. So, again, credit to Villanova for coming out with a, with a renewed spirit after a tough first half and, and putting a lot of pressure on us, starting with Trevor. Were you surprised that they didn't focus more on uh, 14? You know, it, I mean, Villanova, sometimes with yeah. us it's, it, you know, like we thought they were going to come out in zone defense tonight because Georgetown slowed us down with the zone. Um, you know, they didn't, they have a wonderful, I think the best short stick in the country in number 77, the Pope kid. And they've had to in the last two games play him at a pole for some reason. Maybe somebody's hurt, I, I'm not sure. Um, you know, so I think that kind of changed their defense, uh, you know, a little bit. And uh, he, be, he was kind of their slider, their helper. And he happened to be covering Bergie. Um, and to our, as Bergie said, to our credit, uh, you know, sometimes you don't find that guy in the middle. Coach Brown changed the offensive look a little bit once we saw that, and we were able to get some layups, and, and, and that's a good thing. So um, we're, we're thrilled to get the win. We're happy that we saw a bunch of different looks because this will get our guys' heads on uh, uh, straight to understand that we've got to be, we've got to, we've got to change according to what they're doing to us defensively. Of course, we talked after the uh, Georgetown game about how you were rolling your deep lines and evaluating personnel. Any, uh, any, uh, anyone standing out to you? Yeah, you know, I, I think we're, you know, we're seeing Connor Donahue, who's a freshman. Coach Brown put him in, you know, within minutes of the start of the game today. He had a nice assist to Bergie. Uh, you know, um, you know, we have a group of guys, uh, you know, that's our scout team and. You know, again, in the first quarter, we played four midfields tonight and, you know, 26, 25, 26 people in that first quarter. So uh, when you do that, you get a little nervous because Miller's not on the field, Pace isn't on the field, you know, Adamson's not on the field. What's going on? But it really helps them a little bit to see what the other team's doing from the sideline. And it helps those young guys to, uh, or the backup guys, to feel like they're a part of the part of the game, you know, we got everybody in the game tonight, other than I think one goalie maybe, and uh, um, and so it, it it's good for the spirit of the team that they have an idea that you're going to play them, and they're playing during important time, not just not just mop up duty. So uh, it it helps during the week to have guys that that feel good about what they they've done, even when they're the scout team and going against our first unit, which isn't which isn't a lot of fun sometimes, you know. I thought Christian Thomas had a really good game at short stick D minute. Can you talk about his? Christian's a been bit? fabulous all year. Uh, you know, in the Georgetown game, he showed his speed, and then tonight I thought he showed his strength. He, he's he's 
uh, as a you know Villanova has a bunch of really good midfielders and and I thought Christian and Garrett both um, did a good job of allowing us not to have to scramble as much as we thought we were going to have to and uh, he really did a good job he's becoming better and better each game getting used to being a defensive midfielder and and uh, he's such a great kid and um, you know tonight we tried Hampton took a face off or two you know he was. He was a great face-off guy a year ago, and we got to keep him in the fold. So, uh, you know, right now, pretty happy with all the guys, but, um, you know, it's only 2-0, and oh, and we got a lot more to go. Anything else, guys? Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Nico.